Good morning, myself Malinti Mugpi brings you today's news update. Borlangso Medical Subcenter in Nilip constituency has been lying defunct and covered with wild plants since a long time. The subcenter was constructed during the Congress regime in Karbianglong. However, there is no doctor or nurse in the subcenter till date. In order to avail medical facilities, the people have to visit Chukihula Block Primary Health Center, which is around 30 kilometers away. Lack of good roads is also another hindrance which make it impossible for the public to even call ambulance services. The Gaoburas and people of the area including Sarihuti, Borlangso, Arlongwuti and Borpung have told reporters that the coming assembly elections will, will be boycotted in the area if no proper medical facility is provided to the people of the area before the election. Moses Hansi from Nilib for 365 News India. <laughs> The Coordinations Committee of Electricity Employees, Engineers and Pensioners staged a peaceful protest against the government decisions to privatize the Assam Power Distribution Corporations Limited in front of the Pooh Power House on Thursday. A similar protest was jointly staged by all employees of Umpanai, Baithalangso and Dongkamukam in front of the Subdivisional Officer Electrical Divisions in Dongkamukam in West Karbianglong District. The government's decisions to privatize APDCL has erupted massive protests across the state by employees and employees' union of the power corporations across the state in recent days. A similar protest was held yesterday in Dipu, where the Coordinations Committee of Electricity Employees, Engineers and Pensioners staged a peaceful protest at Dipu Powerhouse to protest the government's decision. Meanwhile, a similar protest was jointly staged by all the employees including permanent staff, officers and technical staff of Umpanai, Baithalangso and Dongkamukam in front of the office of the subdivisional officer. Electrical divisions in Dongkamukam in West Karbianglong district wherein they shut the office for eight hours in protest. The protesting employees say the privatizations will deprive the people below poverty line of various government subsidy provisions, deprive locals of employment opportunities as decisions will be made by private companies. Privatizations will also bring inconveniences to the local as well as the employees. While appealing to the state government and KAC authority to stop the privatizations, the protesting employees strongly say that they will not allow privatizations of APDCL at any cost and if the government forcibly go on with it, they will also be forced to protest on a larger intensity. Debram Kathar from Dipu and Kelvin Terang from Dongkamukam for 365 News India. Technical staff have all gathered here at Dongkamukam Electrical Office to protest the decision of the government to privatize this APD cell, Assam Power Elect Distribution Company Limited. We do not accept the government decision to privatize this company because privatization will bring many evils for the public as well as the locality. Privatization will bring decisions over which the public as well as the local authorities will have no consideration. The local people will not get priority in terms of employment, in terms of service. It will be all done under the whims and fancy decisions of the private companies. So we protest this decision and we appeal to the state government as well as the Caribbean Autonomous Council government to stop this privatization at all costs. And we will continue our strike as long as our voices are not heard. Privatization must be done. Must down. Must down. Privatization down, down. Down, down. APD sales in the butt. Privatization down, down. down. Samson Theron led factions of the Karbi Student Association submitted a memorandum to Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal through the Deputy Commissioner of West Karbianglong District in Hamren on Thursday. The Student Association has met several demands in the memorandum to the CM including finding an immediate and permanent solutions to the border dispute and upgradations of Dipu Government College. The other demands of the student body are introductions of science and commerce stream in Vaisong College and Rangsina College, cancellations of introductions of Panchayati Raj in Karbianglong, which is a six scheduled area and immediate halting of illegal timber and coal smuggling in the district. Members of the student body who marched to the DC office to submit the memorandum shouted slogan like No Border Solutions, No Rest, Assam Government Go Back and We Want Justice and wrote 
Hamran DC FCO, the student body members of sending the memorandum to the CM at the earliest. Newsdex report for 365 News, India. A two-day leadership training program of the Student and Youth Council at Tokolangso LP School in Ilip constituency concluded on Wednesday. The training program with the theme Student and Youth Drone Struggle was attended by several SYC members, Gaumburas of the area and KSA members. Amlong Ingti and SKC, BDC President Nirman Stramik, KSC Longki Pangchuk, CPI ML Secretary BDC and Sujit Mung SYC Ex-President Nilip Coordinations Committee were the resource person during the two days training program. Moses Teron from Nilip for 365 News India. Adieu viewers, thank you for watching 365 News India. Have a bright day ahead.